Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josi. Today I would like to do a video showing you how to convert your QB78. Um, this is the air rifle, okay, QB78. It it um, originally originally comes uh, with a CO2 setup. So you put two uh, 12 gram CO2 inside the tube and power up the gun. Now, for a lot of people, they want to shoot with bulk fill bulk fill air okay so you can use HPA or you can use um, a bigger CO2 tank for more shots uh, uh, per fill or per shooting session so you don't need to keep using those little 12 gram CO2 which is so silly now here this is all you need okay this gun you don't need to convert the breech you don't need to convert the barrel whatever nothing need to be done you just need to buy this coupling okay this is the end cap with a froster fitting the quick disconnect fitting okay this is a male quick disconnect fitting all you do is screw this onto the gun and uh, replace your original tube I mean the original cap okay this thing comes with this here so basically you fit that thing on and it looks like that okay so what this is 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 a uh, on off thingy see so you screw this out to turn it off you screw this in to turn it on now you can rotate this too so that's the cool thing okay if you poke your finger in here you feel a little stud there okay that's stud when you screw this thing all the way down the stud pokes out and will punch uh, not puncture but will push on the pin valve of your HPA tank and if you release this okay release this to go up and you press it again that stud will loosen up and because it's loosened up it will not press onto the pin valve anymore and so your HPA tank will not um, keep pushing out air and it will stop providing air also when you do this air will vent right here psh, like that and then so there's no more air inside this little unit and you can safely detach the fitting so this is a very nice um, equipment so now how do I use this like I got this thing this couple uh, with, with the on off the uh, HPA whatever uh, well, like quick disconnect fitting okay so basically all you do is like that and you're like okay so what do I need right now okay all you need right now is you have a few options okay the first option is buy yourself a remote line so this is a remote line okay. there's all the coil inside here which I just covered up because I don't want it to tangle so you can buy the cover or make some cover yourself Okay, this is what you have okay one end of this remote thing is to the um, to the uh, tank okay so basically you screw this on like so and it will punch the tank and give air this is a quick disconnect female fitting okay so basically you can just hook this up to the gun okay so basically you see right here you just hook this up to here like that and hook this to the tank now that's the most basic setup okay and the problem is okay it's, it's very good you can just put the tank on the table and then you can keep shooting for hours and hours and hours okay you can hook up a bulk fill co2 tank or you can use a hpa tank it will still work okay both will work for the hpa tank um anything outputting from 850 psi up to uh, 1200 psi is the max you should go with the stock tube okay do not go over 1200 psi just to be safe so there we go so you have your remote host you have your tank now the tank goes on the table and you can you know just keep shooting all day long like that and it's very good because usually you have um, two 12 gram it doesn't really last very long so yeah that's that's the one thing okay and the other thing is after you're done you need to screw this thing this knob here screw it all the way up so that it's not pu pushing on the tank valve not pushing air out and then you have to keep shooting empty air to dump all the air inside here 
okay dump all the air inside here and then you can safely detach this without any issues okay so this is the first option now the second option is if you don't want to vent the hose like that okay this thing that it, um, the package came with the other side you can use this okay and also um, you need one of these fittings this is from a paintball tank ASA to a quick disconnect so basically you screw this thing on right here okay, let me screw that on first okay. now what this is doing is you can just screw it the pin all the way inside okay with your remote line same thing one end goes to the tank the other one goes to here okay now what it does is see the air come from the tank all the way into the thing and this into the guns um, quick disconnect fitting so it provides air for your gun okay what's so good about this little extra compared to the other thing is first of all the you see the remote hose is coming on an angle all the way back to you so it feels better and you can have this on a tank on the hip right here okay you can put it on on your hip and it will still work so that gives you a little bit of extra um, length for the for the uh, line and other thing is when you're done shooting instead of just turning this off and then having to shoot on the empty air you can basically turn this knob all the way up and then let it vent all the air out from here and vent the air out when it's done unplug and you're good to go you don't need to do that little extra shooting um, empty shots to dump the air inside so that is the second um, method to use this thing so to um, the ultimate method I'm going to talk about today is how to not have that stupid remote hose on your belt on the uh, ground on, on the table whatever I want this to be on the gun okay that's one thing I always wanted to do I wanted to go on the gun I don't want it to you know just dangle around somewhere and it's so problematic okay so what you need is one of these this is a scope ring with a weaver rail uh, mount okay so have one of these have your remote hose okay remote hose and then buy one of these tri rail UTG tri rail uh, mount okay you can buy this at um, Pyramid Air uh, Airsoft GI whatever they sell these things okay so basically you unscrew four screws here okay, one two three four and then you just mount this onto your barrel near this spot okay so now what happened is okay fun things happen here what I want to do is you want to mount this on the right side let me just mount that first da -da -da. screw it come on okay there we go so screw that tight on the right side of the gun okay and then remember this one okay the scope rail find one that is as thin as possible not the thick and fat ones okay now what I want to do is have your um, Allen key ready and then take this and put it inside here see right here so now it's going to secure your ASA you see right here it's going to secure that okay let me just take my Allen wrench and screw that on okay guys so now you've got this and your HPA tank a 13 CI HPA tank basically you just put this on and screw it to the um, this adapter okay just let me do it and I'll come back okay guys you see that's how you do it and now you mounted the tank right here it won't interfere with your grip and such now just take this hose and do the same thing connect it back to the um, connect it back to the front and now I know it looks kind of weird but if you have a bipod coming out right here okay it will look really okay this thing goes on the table and you can do your sniping all day long without the tank on the table dangling around then you can also take this thing and walk around like that it will still be fine not that bad okay you can basically take it your hand 
You see? So it's pretty cool, right? And then all you need to do is when you're done, okay, when you're done shooting, you just need to um, now turn this all the way out so that it's uh, turned off and then you shoot all the empty shots and whatever, okay? So the same theory applies. If you don't like it, okay, if you don't, don't like the empty shots idea, do the same thing as before. Pluck this little on off here, have an extra piece and there you go. Okay, so you can basically do the same thing, but mount the tank on the gun. Now this is one of my favorite setup. If you want to like shoot all day long with a lot of shots, lots of air, that's what you do. Okay, so basically a very very simple uh, mod to your QB78. So hope you guys like it. And if you guys really like to shoot with HPA, remember do not go over 1200. Uh, PSI with this thing because the stock tube may not be strong enough to withstand the pressure. So keep that um, like to the maybe 850 or 1000, uh, 1100 PSI output kind of thing and it will be safe. Okay, so remember safety is all the time. Uh, you're playing with high pressure air so it will be very dangerous if your tube cannot, you know, withstand that kind of pressure. So keep your pressure below that 1200 PSI. Um, output okay so basically that's it for today thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye, -bye.